people of Wildcats. You know, Minotaur, I wonder what it was like growing up in a nasty, trashed up city, living in something probably looked about like this, didn't it, Hawks? This was probably about what your life is. Well, you see, for the golden boy, the exclamation point of Wildcats, it was nothing like that. You see, I had everything I ever wanted. <laughs> everything. Seahawks, I didn't have to eat out of the garbage can. No, I had nice silverware, fine steak, beautiful salad, everything I wanted. And now, Hawks, <laughs> that I've grown up and you've grown up, you're still trash and I am still great. I have everything I want once again. And that's that Wildcat Heavyweight Championship. Something that you'll never have. Ever. Ever. Because you think you're going to be some hero, some jacked up story of some little boy who came from nothing and made great things happen. No. Because the man that stands in the way is none other than the exclamation point, Steve Anthony. Hawks, I've always been the star of this. <laughs> You've always stood behind me. And come March 2nd, it'll be no different. You see, I got a monster, little insurance policy, if you will, in Minotaur. And Hawks, you bring who you want. You bring Wes Adams if, if that's who you choose. And I tell you what, I'll make you a deal, Hawks, because I am so confident in what I can do and in my ability that if you somehow can pull off a victory, in our tag team match, I'll give you a title shot. I'll beat you again, but I will give you a title shot. But if you do what I already know you can't do, and that's pin me or even Minotaur, then you'll never step foot in a wrestling ring with me again. What's up, folks? It's your boy, Big Ramp. I know you were expecting my broadcast partner, Brett Tastic himself, Brett Landry. No, 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 my brother. It's me, Big Ramp. I'll let you know what's going on. What a quest for the best tournament it was. The king of the 450, Steve Anthony, captured the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship. He had a little help from Minotaur, the Man Beast, and Hard Body Harper. Now it brings us here, the Wildcat Heavyweight Champion, the exclamation point, the king of the 450, along with his partner, the Man Beast, Minotaur, are taking on Wes Adams and the Southern Stumper, Luke Hulk. But these are the stipulations for the match. So if Steve Anthony wins, PJ Hulk, son of Luke Hulk, gets his head shaved. But if the Southern Stumper wins, <laughs> he gets a shot at the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship at any given time that he wants. Wildcat Sports, it's going now. Let's go to the action.
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your first participants, being accompanied once again by the handsome hard body Harper. They are the team of Minotaur and the current reigning Wildcat heavyweight champion, the exclamation point, Steve. Anthony. And ladies and gentlemen, in the corner to my right, first, from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, please welcome Wes Adams. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, from New Orleans, Louisiana, he is the Southern Upper Luke Hawks. Ladies and gentlemen, Brett Landry here at ringside for the first time with my broadcast colleague, Big Ramp, and we're here to call Luke Hawks and Wes Adams versus Steve Anthony and Minotaur. What an epic tag team match we've got here, Ramp. Finally, 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 I'm in the building with my homeboy, Brett Tastic. This has been brewing for a long time, and it's about to go down tonight, man. Very excited to see this matchup here now. Just a little bit of backstory for you fans that may have missed it. Minotaur is now the exclamation point Steve Anthony's newest heavy and also the newest client of handsome hard body Harper there in ringside as a member of his stable, the House of Harper, which also includes outlaw Matt Lancey. Now, the stipulation in this contest, Ram, okay. is that if Luke Hawks wins, he gets to face Steve Anthony at any time of his choosing for the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship. Okay, okay. But if Luke Hawks loses, then his son PJ at ringside will get his head shaved in the middle of the ring by Harper and Company. Also, he'll pretty much look just like his dad. Like he would have bought him. Right, he'll look exactly like his father, Luke Hawks, <laughs> in the ring. Minotaur has the Southern Stomper in the corner, goes for a punch, and Luke gets out of the way. Uh, what do you think, Ramp, about seeing Minotaur in a Wildcat ring here for the first time? I mean, the guy's very impressive. And I think his mask is real cool. Yeah, he's got an interesting mask, I guess. But Minotaur has been a monster in the Southern Independent Circuit for a long time. And this is his first time in a Wildcat ring. And I just, I, I'm surprised that he's aligned himself with Harper and his goons. He should get Harper a mask. Harper should wear a mask just like him. Why would he get Harper a mask before he got him sleeves? Have you looked at Harper? Ah, uh, that's, that's a good point. There's nothing handsome about that guy. He's very ironic, given his nickname. Who gave it to him? Was mine? No, I think he gave it to himself. I Eunice? Think, Eunice? Is that his mother's name? Yeah, I, I think his mom's name's Eunice. You, you, Eunice, Eunice Harper. Yeah. Oh, Velma, one of them. Oh, oh, that's right, Velma Harper, yeah. Well, Luke Hawks at least has one true friend left after Steve Anthony's betrayal, and that's Wes Adams. And now they're teaming up, they're joining forces to face off against the House of Harden. Into the corner goes Wes Adams. Minotaur, whoa, he's charging in, but he caught an elbow for his trouble. Minotaur seems dazed as punches to the side of the neck by Wes Adams. Oh, he's punching the bull right in the horns. He's, he's trying to unmask. Oh, he's going for the mask. Now Minotaur got away. Now, that was almost bad news. Big double axe handle from Wes Adams off the top. I, one must wonder what Minotaur looks like under that hood there. I mean, I hope he doesn't look like Harper. Let's, let's hope not. <laughs> and there he is, the sleeveless wonder. Oh, 
Steve Anthony with a knee to the back of Wes Adams. Wes Adams with a shot to Steve Anthony in retaliation. Hey! And Anthony drags his arm down across the top rope. How did Saeed not see that? We have to uh, chip in to get uh, Saeed some glasses, senior official, because he sees nothing. A lot. Minotaur is going back to work on Wes Adams' arm. That's sure to be the target of Minotaur and Steve Hold Anthony here. He's been focusing on that arm since the beginning of the matchup. Saeed needs glasses. Flips Wes Adams over by that same arm. And the West Giants are building up. That's right, the West Giants are flaring up. The fans seem like they're getting real behind Wes Adams here as they go to the back. Wes Adams, native of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, but he's still a Saints fan as he gets flipped over. Minotaur is wrenching that arm still. Just as predicted, that arm is the focus of Minotaur's attacks. Hooks the leg. Only a two count from the man beast, the mythological masked monster. Could you say that three times faster? I can't. That's too many M's as he's got Wes Adams. It's the first time again that Wildcat fans have seen Minotaur in action. But this is a huge matchup, a main event caliber matchup that these men are in. And so much is on the line here. If Luke Hawks loses this match, for as long as Steve Anthony is the Wildcat Heavyweight Champion, he will not get another shot at that belt. Sends him into the corner. And who knows how long Steve Anthony is going to be champion with Hard Body Harper in his corner. Yeah, because that dude does, does anything to get his clients to win. And with people like Minotaur and Matt Lancey that are on Harper's side along with Steve Anthony, I mean, that, that just spells a whole lot of trouble for Wildcat Sports. Wes is so close to the ropes here. Mast, mast. Don't try, it'll twist your tongue. It looked like he got to the ropes when Steve Anthony stomps him on the back of the shoulder. Oh my goodness! You gotta love the way the champion, Steve Anthony, is cutting off the ring with his partner, Minotaur. You gotta love the way they're putting this beat down on Wes Adams. That's right, they're, they're, keeping, they're keeping Wes Adams in their corner of the ring. They, we're gonna see back and forth tags here between Steve Anthony and Minotaur. These guys are no stranger to the square circle. Luke Cox has gotta make that tag soon. I don't know how much longer Wes Adams' arm is gonna be able to hold up here. Could you imagine being in Luke Hawk's boots, so to speak, and having Wes Adams lose this match with Luke knowing that he would not get a shot at that title? I, don't, I, I, I can't even find the right Oh my goodness, what was that? That's a big, it's a big boot there. He dragged the arm down on his own boot. Did Minotaur to West Adams and only two count, yeah. as you were saying. If Luke Hawks loses this match, if West gets pinned and PJ gets his hair cut off, how's the kid gonna go to school? It's not that the hair wouldn't grow back, but it's terribly humiliating. You gotta get Minotaur out of the ring as a double suplex. Wes Adams. Oh, they look like they broke his back. That might have been a three count if Luke Hawks didn't stop it. And Steve Anthony is wrenching that arm back. You hear the West Chance flaring up, Ramp. The West Chance, they, they love West down here in New Orleans, baby. Oh, and a little for the stumper just now. Stumper's trying to get back in the ring, but the referee is holding Luke Hawks back. Harper and his men have just, they, they've been on top. They've been on top of Wes Adams' this entire contest so far. And our senior official, Saeed Abus, is putting Luke Hawks back in the ring. Now, Wes is doing his best to fight back here, Ramp. Get sent off the sent off the ropes. Oh, what a kick! It's a kick to the chest of Steve Anthony. Oh, what a kick! And that's kick to the shoulder and a Russian leg sweep. And we've got a cover. Two. Hawks breaks it up. You gotta believe he's getting frustrated out there. Well, he needs to get into the match. I mean, Wes Adams has had enough here, and then constant tag ins and tag outs between Minotaur and Steve Anthony. They've been keeping each other fresh. They've been circulating. Wes Adams has been there just too long. Harper is doing a great job of puppeteering here between Steve Anthony and Minotaur. You think, you think he's done a great job? Well, I mean, he brought Minotaur in here. He's got the, the utmost protection for his heavyweight champion. But he's doing nothing but just beating on the ring out there. He's not doing nothing. Well, maybe not at ringside at the moment, but you never know what he has up his... He doesn't have any sleeves. Good point. Six foot six and some 300 pounds is Minotaur. Is he the largest man in Wildcat right now? He's the largest man in the match. He's got Wes Adams up on his shoulder. Looks like he may have been going for a body slam. Wes Adams, oh, he tries to roll him up, but Minotaur is just too big and too strong. 
And he's back on that arm, baby. Back on that arm. That arm, it's taking too much damage, Ramp. He, he couldn't have gotten that. He couldn't have gotten that one. He just wouldn't have had the strength. You can't tag with no arms. Food for thought. Steve Anthony getting in the face of some of our fans here as Minotaur is trying to rip Wes Adams' arm off his torso. He's applying pressure by putting the elbow right into it. Right to the, right to the side of the shoulder, you're right. Hawks is reaching out for that tag. Just not, it's just not there. Like I said before, they're, they're cutting that ring in half. They're keeping Wes Adams in the corner. Wait a minute. Adams is firing back. Elbows and punches. He crawls on a minute. I thought, he was, I thought he was gonna make it there. He almost had it. But kicks Minotaur off into the corner. I don't know, he's got the tag! And the snap is in, baby. And he is in the match. Multiple kicks and a spin kick takes Minotaur down. There those educated feet go by the sudden stumble. Anthony off the top, he catches him. with a forearm to the back of Luke Hawk's head. Sets him out of the ring, complete shot! Complete shot by Wes Adams, and Minotaur is out! Luke Hawks is the legal man. He kicks Steve Anthony off the ring, he's got the cover! And the three! The monster has been found! Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of this contest, Wes Adams and Luke Gentlemen, Luke Hawks can now face Steve Anthony for the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship. That's right, as our dashingly handsome ring announcer has said, Luke Hawks can challenge for the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship at his leisure now and an embrace with his son PJ Hawks there and good friend Wes Adams. Kid, your dad saved your hair. You need to give him more than a tie this year for Christmas. It looks like we can hear some words from, from the prodigy. Yo, see, I thought you were gonna shave my hair tonight. What? You know, Steve, my dad now deserves a title shot because he beat Minotaur and you one, two, three, and what's that? Right now. <laughs> we didn't say day or time. I want my title match. Tonight. Wait, tonight. Tonight? Wait a minute. Tonight? He didn't say that. Listen. I got news for you, Steve. I didn't even break a sweat in that last match. So, shot the belt up, get in the corner. Come on, ref, make the match. Okay, you gotta sit down. Thank you. Let's do this. I know he had the, the stipulation there where he could have chosen his title match, but tonight? Hey! I think that's what's going on. Who in the hell do you think you are? The man in the match with me. Stipulations are stipulations. You made the match, not me. I agree, you made the match. Now be a man of your word, step up. On my time when I'm ready. Well, well. King of the 450, Steve Anthony, has decided to decline Luke Hawk's invitation for the title match right now as they head to the back. I wouldn't defend it right either. Wait a minute. That's, that's Bolt Brady, Purple Haze, Sergeant Socorro, Buku Dow, Jack Jameson. That's, how can you even see Buku Dow? I think that time's right now, Steve Anthony. He's, he's, oh, come on. You, you can get in the ring, or they'll throw you in the ring. Your choice. Oh, okay, I saw Buku Dow just now. He was in Jack Jamison's bed. Okay, okay, I see, I, see, I see what you did there. They are forcing Steve Anthony to defend his title. The boys in the bank are not letting this happen. They're, they're bringing him to the ring. Oh, they're roughing that boy up. They are literally dragging the exclamation point to the ring. They've thrown him in. The, the bell is rung. This, this is a heavyweight championship match. I, right, right now it's a heavyweight championship fight. You're right, we've got, a, we've got a fight in the middle of the ring for the heavyweight title. This is a dining brook. Ramp, this is huge. These two men have been at each other's throats for, for the longest time. I... They've been up and down the road together. They, they, they're no strangers to each other. This should be an exciting match right here. He's got Steve Anthony up and down he goes. He's going to feel that all next week, brother. This might actually be Luke Hawks' redemption. Luke Hawks and Steve Anthony met 
to settle their differences in the finals of the Quest for the Best tournament, but thanks to Minotaur's involvement, Luke Hobbs did not walk away as the champion. The Southern Stumper has to get a hold of his emotions right now and get the business and try to take this strap off of Steve Andrews. Only a one count. Containing his emotions is not going to be easy. These two men were the best of friends, now the worst of enemies. This has been a boiling over issue since Harper split them up. Luke Hawks missed charging at Steve Anthony. Drop kick to Luke Hawks face by Steve Anthony. Oh my goodness. Ramp, I am almost vibrating here. I'm so, I'm so nervous. I, I can't believe that this match is happening. Yes, I feel you next to me. You really are vibrating. I, no, I think it's because my phone's on vibrating. Let me well, move phone. your phone, please. Thank you. Sorry. Both of these men just went through a grueling tag team match. I, I You know, I, I got a question. I don't know if this was necessarily the smartest idea by Luke Hawks, especially knowing that wherever Steve Anthony is, Harper and Minotaur can't be far behind. Now, we see Harper at wing side, but where is that masked monster? He disappears. He comes in. He disappears. He's a magician. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't like it. Harper is way too close for comfort for me there. He's always too close for comfort, just in general. He drives him back first. And you gotta watch Harper because he's sneaking around that ring. He just sneaks around the whole time. He's just very sneaky. Har Harper has Harper has an agenda. He has a very specific agenda. Again, as Steve Anthony drives Luke Hawks into the ring itself. Harper's agenda is to keep the Wildcat heavyweight title around the waist of Steve Anthony. And, and hand out envelopes to people. Right. Which I haven't got mine yet. I haven't got mine yet. So. Are you looking to get paid from Harper? I'm looking to get paid from Harper. Yes, I am. Uh, it's dirty money, man. It's dirty money that Steve Anthony sacrificed his friendship and relationship with Luke Hawks. He's got him in a headlock now, trying to squeeze the life out of the Southern Stomper. I mean, this. You know, Steve Anthony wouldn't have accepted this match if it wasn't for the rest of the Wildcat locker room. But now that he's in it, it looks like he's found his groove here. He seems to be in control of the Southern Stomper, and Harper seems to well, he seems to love every little bit. Well, you already know how it goes. When the bell rings, you have to do what you got to do. As soon as, as soon as that as soon as that bell rings, you got to get in there and get it. Anthony trying to choke the life out of Luke Hawks here. Saeed Abelusa is checking. Southern Stomper has not given up yet. He's fighting to his feet. Elbow to the stern. And another. A third. Hawks off the rope and Steve Anthony follows him and closes oh, it to the outside. The top. Oh my goodness. Right into the first row. Unbelievable. And the fans don't like it. They don't like it at all. The, I mean, the, the issues with these men have reached a boiling point. And, and Ramp, this is not Steve Anthony's first title defense. Steve Anthony defended the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship against one man, Mike Dell, at a military event that we held in Belchase. You're going to be seeing that match on the Wildcat Unleashed Special Edition DVD. Oh, and yeah. the reason that one man, Mike Dell, had that match is because of the controversial ending of his finals in the quest for the best tournament. He got robbed in the tournament. Luke Hawks is on the top. Guillotine leg drop it. Oh, and he missed it. Well, Steve Anthony rolled out of the way. And I don't know what that's done to the tailbone of the Southern Stomper there. Yeah, Dale said he was robbed during the tournament. Like, I've seen various weird things he's been putting up in different places. He said he's been robbed. No. No. Oh my God, I thought that was a three count. So close to a three count. You're right, Mike Dell did say that. The only reason that Luke Hawks was not able to to face Steve Anthony for the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship that night is because he was in a triple threat match with his good friend Wes Adams and the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. Another match that you'll be seeing on the Wildcat Unleashed Special Edition DVD. As Anthony sends Luke Hawks off the ropes. He's got a sunset flip, he's got him covered! Oh, I thought he almost had the three just now. Only a two, small package, another two count. Oh, this is so stressful. I don't know. God, a drop kick to the face. Anthony's got a cover. Two counts, one after another after another. I mean, this is what Wildcat Sports is all about. These two men, former friends, now the worst of enemies with our greatest prize hanging in the balance. 
For Steve Anthony, it's all about the money and the glory. For Luke Hawks, it's all about the fans and the love of the industry. But the one thing that these men share in common is the desire to be champion. And that is exactly what's on the line right here and right now. Steve Anthony again trying to squeeze the life out of Luke Hawks here, man. And Harper, again, way too close for comfort for me. I, I don't like him that close to the action. He might have something in his pocket. He could have something in his fist. We, we don't know. We don't know what Harper's got in store for anybody that opposes his house of Harper. These men have had such a storied history. Do you think it comes to an end right here, right now? No. No, I don't. I don't. As long as Steve Anthony has the gold, this will never come to an end. And if some kind of way the Southern Stumper wins this title tonight, the champ gets a rematch. Spin kick by Hawks. Takes Steve Anthony down. Two count. Another two. I, I can't believe it. Hawks got that regal cutter. Steve Anthony's out. Luke, Luke's got to take advantage of this while he has the chance, Ramp. Yeah, you know, he's been he's been in the real pool. Like it's, it's Minotaur. Oh, uh, there they go again with this. It's Minotaur, not again. Get him out of here. He shouldn't even be here in the first place. There's too much on the line here. Get that man out of the ring. Spear by Hawks. He's got Minotaur out. Oh, oh no, Anthony's lining up. Uh-oh. Okay, Steve Anthony's setting up for that super kick. That exclamation point super kick. Luke Hawks needs to turn around. He's going to take Luke's head off. He catches it. He lifts him up. Sit up. I can't believe Steve Anthony kicked out of that. Listen to our fans ramp. This is wrestling. This is wrestling. This is wild. Oh, that, that damn Harper. He held his boot at ringside. He held his foot. What did he do? What did he do? The super kick. There's that exclamation point from Steve Anthony. And he's going to retain. He kicked out at two. That was very Chris Adams-esque. How did he kick out at two? Speaking of Adams, there's Wes Adams. Pummeling Minotaur. So are they cousins? He's, he's bringing him to the back. Are they cousins? I, I don't know. That's a good question. We'll have to ask. We'll have to ask Wes that next time we interview him. He, he breaks the hole. Ducks a spin kick. He's got him up and he sits out. Oh, you know what this is the setup for, Rip? That is the setup for the 450. The king of the 450 is going up for the 450 splash. Well, at least he don't have a mic in his hand this time. Oh, he missed, he it. missed it. He missed it. All the wind has got to be blown out of Steve Anthony. That levels the playing field right there. That levels the playing field. All the energy out of Steve Anthony. Both men are going to be slow back to their feet. Right now, you're right, Ramp. It's any man's, it's any man's game right now. Harper's trying to urge the king of the 450 to his feet. Luke Hawks trying to pull himself to his feet as well. The referee is counting both men down. Who is going to leave this match as our heavyweight champion? My God. Blocks a punch. Punch of his own by Luke Hawks in a second time. A third. Sends him off the rope. Steve Anthony reverses. Another belly to belly suplex. He's picking him back up. Anthony's not done with Hawks. He's got him hooked. That double underhook. The exclamation point. Oh, I love that move. I just love that move. But I don't love that cover. A two count again. Very lax cover. If he'd, if he'd have hooked the leg correctly, he, he would have gotten through. The Southern Stomper is superhuman. How did he kick out of that? So we should change his name to the Superhuman Southern Stomper. We might as well. What, what is it going to take from Steve Anthony to put him down? I think the Stomper cannot be denied right now. He, he, he... Ramp, Ramp, look at that. Look at that sadistic smile on Steve Anthony's face. And these guys are what, 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 what is Steve Anthony doing? What is Steve Anthony doing? Is he taking off? He's taking off the turnbuckle pad. Saeed's too busy checking on, on Luke Hawks. He's, he's taking the turnbuckle pad off. That is steel. And that is his, cold hard steel ramp. He's turning it up a notch. Hey, but the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship is very important and you gotta do whatever it takes. But it's not that important. That is an illegal maneuver. He'll, I mean, he'll get disqualified if the referee catches him trying to use that corner to his advantage. He's going to send him right into that corner, reversed it. 
Oh, Anthony stopped himself. He's gonna try, he's gonna try and bring Luke Hawks into that corner. He brings him up and over! Steve Anthony got hit! He dropped him face first. Steve Anthony hit the turnbuckle! Face first into the exposed turnbuckle. Steve Anthony has no idea where he is. Luke Hawks is on the top rope. Hawks up top. Blockbuster! Blockbuster, he's got the cover! Two, three! We've got a new World Heavyweight Ladies Champion! And, gentlemen, and finally, Hawks has won the title. Champion, I can't believe it! And the kids are going crazy. You have got to be kidding me! The Southern Stomper, Luke Hawks, finally defeating Steve Anthony, his arch nemesis, and in the process becomes the heavyweight champion of our organization, Ramp. What a monumental night! And he won clean. He won clean took advantage of Steve Anthony's own underhanded tactics, taking the turnbuckle pad off the top rope, driving to right the dead center of Steve Anthony's forehead against that turnbuckle. And now as our senior official hands the Southern Stomper the gold, we have a new heavyweight champion. This is incredible. This is awesome. Wow, we have a new Wildcat heavyweight champion, the Southern Stumper Luke Hawks. Congratulations to you, my brother, defeating the king of the 450, Steve Anthony. Stay tuned right here on YouTube.com, Wildcat Sports, Facebook.com, and Twitter.com slash Wildcat Sports. And now, Brett Landry standing by with the newly crowned Wildcat heavyweight champion, the Southern Stumper Luke Hawks. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news from Wildcat Sports and Entertainment. We have a brand new heavyweight champion of the world, the Southern Stomper, Luke Hawks. Luke Hawks, in an impromptu matchup, you just defeated the exclamation point Steve Anthony to win the Wildcat title. Your thoughts? Steve, every show now, you've been getting over me. One, two, three. Never fair and square. You always pull a fast one. But tonight, my back was against the wall. You put my son in jeopardy. And if you think for one minute, I would ever let anybody harm or touch him, you're dead wrong. You see? What you did was you backed me into a corner. And when you back a man into a corner and you make him fight for not only myself, but for my family, you get caught, son. And it cost you the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship. So I guess there's only one thing fitting to say. Steve Anthony, if you're bad,
I'm worse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your new Wildcat Heavyweight Champion, the Southern really Stomper, like Luke Hawks. I don't think you're gonna like me, though. I don't think you're gonna like me, though. After this, you ain't gonna like me at all. Allow me to introduce myself from Luke Hawks. All heart, ain't straight for the belt.